Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you what is JSON, why do we use JSON, and how we can create a JSON data. So let's get started. So first of all, what is JSON? Now the name JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. But despite the name which contains JavaScript, JSON is mostly language independent and it is specified in the terms of object as name value pairs. Now that's okay, but what really is JSON you may ask, right? So a JSON is a way of structuring data and it's essentially a data format. So JSON is a data format, same as some kind of text formats, for example, XML or any other text format JSON is also a data text format, right? Now, why uh, JSON is really popular and how it's useful? Now, first of all, let me make it clear that JSON can be used in most of the programming language. If you want to use uh, JSON in C++, Java, JavaScript, Python, or any other language, most probably the support for JSON will be present or any uh, such library will uh, be there in order to parse JSON or in order to create JSONs, right? So JSON is really language independent and most of the languages you will find libraries or parsers to support it, right? So as we have said that the JSON is a data format so how we can use uh, JSON or how JSON is used. So let me give you an example. So for example, uh, you have a browser and you want to get some information about the temperature in some particular city, right? So the browser has to make this request to a server which makes this data available to the browser or a client once again. Now there are some ways of sending this data from the client to the server, right? So you can say the most simplest way is to send a string format, right? And the server is going to get this string and then it's going to give you the result. But it's not so easy, right? Until and unless you have some data predefined format, it's hard for the server to understand in which format this data is coming. And that's where the JSON comes in. So this JSON is a data format. So your server knows that whatever client is sending to the server is in the JSON format. So on the server side, for example, whatever language you are using in that language, uh, you can use a JSON parser in order to uh, get this data or interpret this data. And then according to the request, you can uh, just prepare this data in the form of JSON once again and send it to the client. And then whatever client side language you're using, most probably you will be using uh, JavaScript and it, this JavaScript will be able to understand that, that this data is in the JSON format. So it's going to parse this data and then it's going to uh, show you this data in the form of HTML using that JavaScript, right? So this is very simple kind of JSON, right? So a JSON has these curly brackets and then the values are defined like this so there is a key and the value for it so key here is a city and the value of a city is paris for example right unit is a key and c capital c which stands for centigrade is the value of unit right in the same way once your server has some data it's going to send it in this format so here low means low temperature and so low is a key and 16 here is the value right high is the key and 23 is the value 
right? So this is the format of very simple JSON, which can be sent from the client to the server and then server to the client. So JSON is essentially a data format. Now the question arises that which kind of data you can send using JSON, right? So let's see what are the values you can use to send data. So in JSON, you can send uh, this data in the form of these data type, which are there in this picture. So the key, which I already explained to you, for example, city was the key and it's always in the string format, right? So key will be in string format and the JSON value, you can see the JSON value can be an object, it can be an array, it can be a number. Number means it can be an integer or a decimal value and string is a string and other three formats are true false for Boolean. And if you ha don't have any data, you can send null, okay? So these are the data types which can be used to send the values in JSON. So it can be object, array, number or a string or a Boolean value. Or if you don't have any data, then you can send null also, okay? Now let me show you a simple example of a JSON. Now, for example, you want to send uh, employee data or the data of some person from a client to a server, right? So for example, the first name is uh, John here. So its value is a string value, right? Last name is Smith. It's also a string value. This value you can see. Now age is 25. This is a number, right? So there is no double quotation around it, okay? So number you can uh, write directly like this. Now address can be a little bit complex because the address may contain a street and the city name and the state name, for example, and the zip code, right? So this data you can send in the form of object. And what is an object? So an object is also a combination of key value pair and you can see using this curly bracket, you can define key value pairs. And because it's in these curly bracket, it becomes an object of address, right? So an object is nothing but the key value pairs itself, the combination of these key value pairs, and they are, uh, you know, created using these curly brackets. So this whole is an object the combination of street, city, state, and zip is an object, right? Now, let's come to the phone numbers, right? So a person can have multiple phone numbers, okay? And uh, you can define these phone number in the form of array. So you can see a square bracket here, and inside the square bracket, you have defined two object. First object, have a type home and number, whatever number is, right? Second object has type fax and the number, whatever number is, right? So you are defining multiple object for the phone number and you can do this using this kind of array. So you are essentially creating an array of object in this case. Now let's see how we can create a JSON. So I have this text editor, this is Visual Studio Code, but you can use any text editor to create a JSON file. It's not uh, you know, essential that you need to use this kind of editor. You can use any other editor to create a JSON file, okay? So to create a JSON file, you just need to, for example, uh, give a name to your JSON file, for example, sample, and then uh, you just add the extension JSON after dots here. So sample.json, and it's going to create a JSON file. Now a JSON will start with these curly brackets, right? Now let's, uh, you know, take an example of uh, same employee data, and that employee data 
contains for example name so we will define a key name here so this is called key name is the key and the value of uh, this key is for example the name itself so for example mark is the name okay and uh, this key is always a string as i already told you and you use double quotation to uh, you know use strings in json now the key and the value are separated by this colon okay so this is a key this is a value because it's a string so we have uh, included or we have added double quotation around it and the key and value are separated by this colon right now if you want to add more data you use this comma okay and this comma means you want to add some more data so for example i want to add a surname here and then uh, i want to just give this colon to a separate key and value and then the some surname okay so for example some surname okay and then i want to add some more data and i add for example age here and this time because age is a number i can use uh, directly a number notation here now this uh, number can be a decimal value also so for example a person is uh, 26 years and 6 months you can just give 26.5 uh, here and it's perfectly fine it can take a integer or a decimal value here okay now for address so let's define a address here so address because address can uh, contain multiple key value pairs so we can define this address inside an object an object is a combination of key value pair inside these curly brackets so once you give these curly bracket this value becomes an object and here you can once again give these key value pairs so for example address contains uh, uh, street here so you can uh, just give the street and then the value of uh, street some some value right and then next comes uh, for example the city name so you can just give the city name this is also a most probably string in most of the cases and then you can give the zip code right so zip and in some cases it can be a number in some other countries it can be some string format right so let's say it's a number so you can just give uh, this number like this now keep in mind that i haven't added comma in the last element right so i have co added comma here i have added comma here but because zip is my last element of uh, this address object so the last element doesn't contain any comma so when i add comma uh, it's an error right so i don't need to add comma to the last element of an object right so you can say this is a big object this uh, is one object and then address contains the sub object here okay now let's add the phone numbers here so for adding the phone number you need to add comma here after this curly bracket right because you are adding one more element here so let's add a phone for example here and then these phone number for example uh, a person can have multiple phone numbers right so in order to give the phone number you can uh, directly define an array array means multiple values for the same key okay so for example a person contain uh, the first number and then a person contain the second phone number and a person can contain the third phone number and it can uh, contain multiple uh, you know element in the array so you can have multiple elements in this array and these array values are also separated by these comma and the last value does not have the comma now one special quality about this array is it doesn't have any key here right the key is the phone and because the phone have multiple values we have used the array using this square bracket and the value are multiple so they are separated by this comma so 
your uh, value does not have any key here the key is phone here and there are three values in the form of array and how you recognize array you can recognize array because you have used square brackets here so these are the most basic data types here okay you can use also for example if the person is married or not so single here and the value i can uh, provide for example false here if he is a uh, not a single and if the person is single we can just define true here okay so you can define value as a boolean value and then a person can have some skills right so i can just write skill and for example for now he don't want to add any skill so he can add this null value here so if you don't want to give any value with the key you can define null and it will be considered as no value or null okay so this is no value so this is a simple json here as values you can use uh, strings as we have used here name and surname and then you can use numbers it can be decimal numbers or integers you can use object so you have this object under these curly brackets you can use array in these square brackets multiple values for the same key and then you can use true or false as a boolean value for some key or you can use null if you ha don't have any data for that key so this is how a simple json is defined so i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now